1,400 foot white hills at Lompoc, California, world's largest and purest deposit of a substance called diatomite. What is it? It's an accumulation of the fossilized remains of billions and billions of microscopic, one-cell plants related to the algae, plants that flourished here when much of what is now the California coastline was below sea level, sometime back around 15 million years ago. In air-conditioned power shovels, tractors, and trucks, men of the Johns Manville Corporation scoop out the diatomite and start it toward the processing plant several miles away. The air-conditioned cabs are part of a health and safety program in which one million dollars has been expended for dust elimination alone. Truckloads of the diatomite are dumped at the top of a huge excavation called a glory hole. This leads down into a complex system of tunnels in which trains are waiting to be loaded by gravity. What's the diatomite used for? Well, it has a host of uses. It's tremendously porous, so it makes an excellent filter powder for clarifying liquids. As a filler, it's used as a component of such products as lacquers, paints, matches, plastics, paper, and insecticides. It's also an extremely effective insulation for furnaces and other high temperature equipment. But before it can do all these things, it must be processed here. In addition to expensive protective equipment and strictly enforced safety practices, the company maintains a complete up-to-date clinic under the direction of a doctor who's a specialist in industrial hygiene. Examinations and medical advice are administered at regular intervals. Processing the diatomite begins in huge rotary kills in which temperatures up to 2,000 degrees drive off moisture. The vapors driven off are in effect wet dust, but an installation called the Roto-Clone filters out the dust, allowing only harmless steam to be exhausted into the atmosphere. They aren't missing any bets in their campaign against air contamination. After further processing, the diatomite, or cellite, as it's called commercially, emerges as a fine, pure white powder, a sample of which is tested before it moves on to storage or packaging. 150,000 centuries, these silicous plants lay buried, finally to be extracted and put to the service of mankind. In the packing rooms, if it weren't for the filter masks, you'd never guess that some of the material handled is finer than the finest talc. Away it goes to factories everywhere. Even the floors are constantly kept clear of dust by means of a powerful vacuum cleaner designed by the firm's own technicians in order to eliminate hand sweeping. An outstanding example of the way industry guards the well-being of the men and women who turn out the raw materials and finished products that help maintain our unparalleled standard of living. Yeah.